Recently, my mission has been to use this RGB Explain mini-series to fix the state of PC RGB, or failing that, to at least give you guys the tools and information that you need to integrate all of your lighting the way that you want, not the way that manufacturers want you to. And there's something manufacturers have been doing that really needs to be called out, because at best, it's completely misleading, and at worst, it's flat out lying to the consumer. And it has to do with this thing. Let me explain. Okay, so first things first, I want to do a little experiment, see how bad the situation really is. And it's going to need your input. What is this thing? How would you describe it? It allows you to take an RGB source, plug it in the correct way, there we go, light up a single device, and then allows you to connect other devices to this, to light up more devices. How would you describe this? What word would you give that? I'm sorry, did you just call this a daisy chain? Because Factor Design thinks it's a daisy chain. Cooler Master thinks it's a daisy chain. Both of them are lying. And I'm not just picking on them, to be honest. Lots of other companies will call this a daisy chain. That it is not. It is a splitter. What it does is sends your RGB signals down unique paths for every one of these connection points. As in, all of these fans are displaying the same color on every single LED. That is not a daisy chain. And it produces a very different effect compared to a proper daisy chain solution, which is why I get so annoyed when it gets misrepresented or when you get lied to, because if you're looking for a sequential effect between multiple RGB devices, this is not it. This is the same effect between all of your RGB devices, not a sequential effect. And the worst thing is, it's not even particularly difficult to implement a daisy chain solution. I actually covered a lot of this in the original RGB Explain video, which I will have linked down below for you. So let me show you the lies and a proper implementation of it. Now these cyber power fans, I can't actually find much information online about them, so they may not necessarily state daisy chain solution. But as you can see, they're connected to one another and they're displaying the same color on every LED for both fans simultaneously. Now the way to do it, is this. These are the Arctic P12 ARGBs. I first used these fans on my gaming system and then I got a ton more for my editing system. And the thing that I noticed is that they implement a proper daisy chain with the 5053 pin header. And I'll show you how that works now. This is not sponsored by Arctic or anything. It's just they're the only ones that I know that have actually done this, which is kind of baffling. You can see that that's a sequential effect between the two. If you follow that blue, it will go over here and then go off the end. And the way that they do that is that there's four cables attached to this three pin header. So what that's doing is you have your five volts, your data, your ground, and then your data return. So that's sending RGB signals up to this fan. It's being consumed, these colors, being passed the remainder of the RGB signals down the fourth wire here, and then it's being passed on to the next fan, the next device in the sequence. That is the way to do it. That is a daisy chain. But what this means is you can have a daisy chain throughout your entire system between all the fans connected to these headers. This is a splitter, it will display them all at the same time. This is a daisy chain. It is totally different. So well done, Arctic. This is what I want to see. This is the reason why I'm getting so upset and frustrated about this is because PC RGB, we all know it's an absolute mess and it's shit like this that doesn't make it easier for people. And when you market something like this to somebody, they're gonna have an expectation of what to expect from your product. And if it ends up being not that, then it's just gonna upset me. So for the love of God, if only to shut me up, if any RGB manufacturers watch this video, consider not misrepresenting your product. No? Yes. But I really needed to get it off my chest because after using these fans for quite a bit now, it just, it boiled up inside thinking, why aren't other companies implementing this solution instead of lying about their own solutions? And it, it, it got to me because I don't like it when people misrepresent or tell lies about a product just to try and get an advantage or get more sales because that's bullshit. That is absolute bullshit at the end of the day. And it's just really not helping the situation. But I apologize once again for the Rantfield video. I promise the next one will be less passionate, let's say. Otherwise, guys, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Some people are telling me that they're missing videos. Otherwise, like is always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.